Developers have grand visions of the South Philadelphia sports complex like we have never seen before. Comcast Spectacor just unveiled an ambitious plan, making room for a separate concert venue, a new hotel, and more restaurants and retail. The idea is in the early stages, but it certainly already has people talking, especially since the Sixers have their sights set on leaving the area for their own arena to be built in Center City. So like saying, well, hey, look what we can do. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live in South Philadelphia with more on this proposed transformation. Catherine. Hey guys, yeah, big plans for the sports complex. We're standing in <laughs> lot G right now, uh, and that's going to be transformed during phase one as part of this two and a half billion dollar planned overhaul. Take a look at these renderings Comcast Spectacor provided to Action News. Phase one will include a new 5,000 plus seat concert venue for smaller and up and coming acts. More restaurants and retail spaces would be added in addition to enhancements at Xfinity Live. There are also plans for a new hotel, so you would have people staying on site. The Xfinity Live upgrades are expected to be finished next year or early 2026, and then the goal is to have the rest of Phase 1 finished by 2028. So Phase 1 is happening, but there's also a Phase 2 in the works, which they're still planning and would need development rights for. The idea is to develop a new district with residences, retail, restaurants, and green space, and do this within the next decade if all goes to plan. Keep in mind, this announcement comes as the Sixers, the largest tenant of the Wells Fargo Center, still plans to build its own arena and move to Center City in 2031. A spokesperson for 76 DEFCO tells Action News that Comcast Spectacor did not engage the 76ers directly on the development plans and said, Although this announcement has no bearing whatsoever on our plans to move to Market East when our lease expires in 2031, we believe it's critical to discuss how development proposals such as this may serve as a catalyst for the future growth of Philadelphia. So phase one is a go, but there are a lot of questions still about phase two, what direction it's going to take, and what impact it will have in the surrounding communities. We're live in South Philadelphia, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. All right, thanks, Catherine.